weighing 220 pounds, fighting out of Sandy Ford, Delaware. He is the Ring of Honor World Champion, Jay Briscoe. I'm a big fan of the Briscoes. Everything they did to me was new, and I love that. They had great creativity. The Briscoes, they look like who they are, they talk like who they are, they work like who they are, and I'm a fan. I am proud of those guys. Their effort was exemplary, and they showed other talents what can happen if you put your heart and soul in your match and really invest unselfishly. Tonight, I'm going to prove that the Briscoe name is the best in the business, whether it be a singles or a tag team. I mean, Jay just had it. You know, his look, his body, his charisma. His eyes were so piercing in his promo. It was just him. I never, ever had any negativity with these guys. You know, during my time as an owner of ROH and beyond that, it was just a pleasure. You're looking at the ROH World Champ. I got two. Well, congratulations! I am world. Congrats! Congratulations! Thank you, thank you. I am the baddest dog in this show. This is my house, man. The real world champion, Jay. By God, Briscoe. When we were real little, you know, I mean, five, six, seven years old, it was Austin Warrior and Hulk Hogan. And then, I mean, as we kind of got, you know, like middle school, you know, 12, 13, we really got into ECW, like Sabu, RVD, Dudley Boys, like New Jack, like those guys. We used to go up to the arena. I remember we were like 12 and 13 sitting in the arena crowd. We applied to a bunch of wrestling schools, but everywhere you had to be 18. But, you know, thank God, you know, my parents helped out and everything, so. Like, we recorded everything we did. Just be me versus Mark. They trained themselves by videotaping themselves and going in-house and watching it and saying, change that, change that, and back and forth and back and forth. Growing up, I mean, it was an adventure every day because you never, never knew with them guys what was going to happen from sun up to sundown. It's hard to talk about Jay without talking about Mark. And his brother, man, I mean, they were as close as as you can say brothers are. These brothers, you know, did everything together, whether it was in a, a professional wrestling ring or in real life. Papa Briscoe or Mama Briscoe coming with them to a show most of the time. Then they got married. Then the, the children were coming. You know, within uh, 10 years, if the house wasn't good, you could always count on 40 or 50 Briscoes. They're just wonderful people. They're like a modern day, northern type version of the Armstrong. They would rather be in the wrestling business, do their family business, be with the family, and and be themselves. Whatever's gonna be best for the Briscoes, like for my family, you know, I mean, I'm married now with a little kid, and I got to look out for my family. The one thing I noticed in all the interviews that we did with him and his brother was how important family was to them, and how important their kids were to them.